Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again with another video and today I wanted to show you how I achieved my threaded bantu knot. These are styles that you can wear on its own and then later fluff out to get a curly look. So that's what I am going to do. So I've gone ahead and asked my mom to to part my hair for me which she has done because it's a struggle if you have this type of hair so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and show you how i do it but before we start make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification button so you get a notification every time i post a new video i'm going in with this jamaican black castor oil water by as i am and I'm massaging it into my hair and especially my edges and then lightly finger detangling. I follow up with the Buclem Curl Cream and also moisturising that into my edges and massaging it into my hair. I then go in with the Curl Defining Gel also by Buclem and as you can see these products are very slippery and they provide a lot of slip. So here I noticed that my hair had some white particles in there and I'll explain that later. I'm then going in with Buclem Revive 5 Hair Oil. It's a very light oil um, and it gives a very light seal. Following up, I am using a plastic thread because you need to be able to take it out very easily and also it does not sap out the moisture out of your hair so i apply the thread tightly to my roots and then loosely on the length of my hair and then pull the thread away from me and then my hair towards my scalp So after that, I then cut any hairs that are scraggly and then secure the knot. Now this knot, make sure that you do not secure it too, too tight because you're going to need to be able to take it out. And then wrap the hair around the roots and then also secure it with the knot. But as you can see, because it's plastic, it's not really um, pulling through very tight. So this is what you end up with and then cut any remaining threads. So we're just repeating the same process, going in with the thread several times around the roots of your hair and then lightly or loosely along the length of your hair. And then pull in the hair towards your scalp and then the thread away from your scalp and then securing the knot and then just wrap that around the roots of your hair but make sure that it's not too tight so as you can see it was a bit tight here so I was just pulling some hair out so don't be shy to do that it's very important you don't want to, to pull your hair too tight so here I asked my mom to cut the thread for me my favorite part about this style is this um, pulling thread thing I think it's so fun so when I posted this on my Instagram and other pages reposted them, I got a lot of negative comments, which is crazy to me because this is something that I decided to do with my hair and I'm just showing you um, what I do. It's something that I grew up with. So if you do not want to try it, that's fine, but you don't have to be so ignorant about it. People were saying it's stupid. Why are we still doing these threading methods? Because they're now old. And honestly, each to their own. This is what I decided to do in my hair. And if you want to do it, try it. If not, keep it moving. So as you can see here, I'm going in with my Tangle Teaser. I don't always do this, but when I'm doing a style that I need to be smooth and lay flat, I like to go in with my Tangle Teaser as a last step in my detangling. So with this style, I definitely advise against using the the wool thread because it would be really hard to take out. Your hair will be dry, so definitely use a plastic thread. 
here my mom was showing me that the hair is supposed to lie flat and not stick out but I like it to stick out so this is the results the parts are not straight but i don't mind if you like neat parts do that so this is two days later and i think my hair has dried so i'm just gonna do a takedown so that we can all see how it turned out because i don't know the last time i tried this style was 2014 it's been that long so yeah i am going to start with this one because it's easier to to access because this thread is plastic it's quite easy to to undo it undo the knot okay yeah that was easy enough Okay, so this is what we've got there. So now I am going to undo this knot if I can see it, but I can't. So what I did here is that I grabbed the thread and then I grabbed my hair and then I gently pulled it out of the knot and I am able to do this because my hair is moisturized and it's oily and also because it's oily the thread is like slippery because it's also plastic so it allows me to pull my hair out safely so that's what I did so then unravel and it should be simple from from here on this is it Maybe it would have been better to do this on stretched hair, but you get the gist of it. Let me put my light up. So this is it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest, but do it off camera so I can be a little bit quicker because I am heading out. So I've gone and undone all of them. So this is what they look like. So I'm now going to undo them with some oil and I'm going to be using the Buclim Revive 5 oil. It's a very light oil as you can see. So that's why I am using it almost like water. So I'm just applying that to the length of my hair to reduce frizz as I take down or reduce any tangling. So I just take it down and then twirl the ends around my fingers. This is how I wear my hair out. I like to keep my hair clumped together. I can never just brush or comb my hair in one big afro and leave it like that because I will end up with a lot of tangling and matting. So this is how I wear my hair out always. I always clump them together by wrapping the ends around my fingers. And also, this is the reason why I prefer this type of threading as opposed to the, the one where you just thread very close together. A lot of the moisture stays in your hair because the thread is not so close together that it squeezes them out. So your hair is moisturized, your hair is fluffy, and you can actually wear it without having to like comb it out, which is what I usually have to do when I do the other threading technique. So I love the, the volume that I get with this look and my hair is still pretty stretched and I love how soft and bouncy it is. So I'm definitely going to be doing more of these. So I've gone and removed all of them and this is what it looks like. So it's a bit like threading but with the benefits of a bit of texture and it's bouncy and it's soft. I found that this side is a lot softer than this side. I'm not sure maybe because I put more moisturizer 
but it's also flaked. I think it's because of my deep conditioner, mixing it with uh, amla and fenugreek may have, because those herbs, what they do is they stick to your hair. So I think that's what's happened and it's sort of like reacted with these products. But I'm gonna try them again without adding those herbs to my leave-in conditioner, my deep conditioner, I mean, and then see what happens. But yeah, this is the, the final look and I love it. You can fluff a bit more if you want, but I am just going to, to keep it like this. I'm just using my fingers to fluff the back because there's a line and just to close the gap. So yeah. Let me know if you've tried this before or if not, would you try them? And I shall see you in my next video. Bye.